wonderful Saturday morning. The sun's out, it's nice and cool and dry. We're getting ready to think about going camping. We have to put our hitch back in. Um, this is the first time we've used this hitch in or out. The dealership actually put the hitch in for us when we picked up the camper and we had to move the trailer. So we took the hitch out, which was really easy. There's a, uh, a pin and three bolts. If you guys come around here, I'll show you what's going on here. There's two bolts here that are just basically jam nuts. They go against this piece here. This piece sits down over the trailer ball. This pin goes through it. You crank this down to pull it up tight against the ball in the truck. And when this is torqued down to 70 foot pounds, then you tighten these two up to jam it together. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put it back in now and show you how that goes. You will notice there's a uh, sticker right here installed with tailgate in this direction. So currently it's 180 degrees out. We're going to pick it up, spin it around. This is all aluminum, so it's really not that heavy. It's uh, 35 pounds. So we'll pick it up, set it over a gooseneck ball like that. And then get it square in the body. And I think this is kind of relevant. It doesn't have to be perfectly square, of course, because you know the ball is basically in the center. Put your pin through. I don't know if you guys can see that from back there. Let's see which way we're gonna go. Down. Get our pin through, cotter pin in like that, and then we're going to crank this up. And it is a 15 16 socket, so I'm going to use a ratchet to start it. At 70 foot pounds, is quite a bit, so I'm going to stop it about there. Switch to my torque wrench, which I already have set for 70. torque wrench, this torque wrench will click when it gets to 70. So that's 70. Now we're going to tighten these two jam nuts up. torque them up to about 45 foot pounds. I need to read up on this and see what the manufacturer recommends on these. I can't remember if it's 40 or, or 50. We're going to go 45 and then we'll check it. And we'll double check these before we go. Always a good idea to check stuff like this on occasion but that's it so that's exactly how long it took to put in the Anderson hitch ultimate fifth wheel connection hitch that's uh, so far we really like it we'll tell you better when we head to our first camping trip we're gonna put roughly 2400 miles on this thing here in the next few weeks and we'll see how that goes but we're gonna carry our torque wrench with us and we're gonna check this periodically to make sure things are torqued you do have to back these off before you check this because if these are tight that's giving you a false sense of, uh, of torque but that's about it we're going to leave the torque wrench in the camper we'll keep an eye on the other piece as well it takes a special bit to get up in there and torque it you don't want to use an allen key because you can't get enough torque on it so we've got to go to the hardware store and buy that bit because we want to keep that in the camper as well but so far we're really liking this because it lets us go to our gooseneck trailer in about two minutes you can see how quick that comes and goes so thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe